All we've got here is a Max Loom Revolution light and a 150mm pistol grip. We need to change the bulb and uh, Roger's going to talk us through. So to change the bulb in your Max Loom Revolution light, firstly get the bulb out of the packet and then we need to remove the ballast from the light itself. To do that you simply turn the ballast and pull out of the recess and then remove the power cord by pulling it out. Once you remove the ballast and the bulb from the light, the next step is to remove the four Allen screws using a small Allen key. So after you've done that, you can see that inside the ballast unit, you can see the terminals that need to be exposed, so you can replace them with the new bulb. So simply pull these terminals out of the housing and unclip them, and your bulb is ready for replacing. From then on it's a simple process with a small Phillips head screwdriver to remove the two Phillips head screws to pull out your bulb. After that just lift the housing up and your bulb and terminals should pull straight out. When you fit your replacement bulb be sure to keep the bulb in its protective housing. You don't want to touch the HID bulb. Simply feed each lead and terminal back through the hole where the bulb seats. Reconnect your corresponding terminals making sure they click into position. Once your terminals are reconnected tuck them back up into the recess inside the ballast. At this point the bulb still isn't secure in the housing but you need to put all four allen screws in position to give you a base to fit this eventually. Once those four screws are in position, now it's time to seat the bulb. Now we're going to remove the pre protective casing from the bulb. Again, make sure you don't touch the HID bulb. If you have to, use a tissue, or if you do happen to accidentally touch it, use a tissue to wipe it clean. Once the plastic housing is removed, carefully lift off the two plastic washers that are in place. They have a slit in it, so you can remove it without touching the bulb. And remove the bottom of the protective housing. The last thing to do now is to re-screw the bulb into position. So there you have it, we've successfully removed and replaced the bulb. Now you simply replace the ballast back into your light and click it into position and refit the power cord by pushing it into place and your light's ready to go again.